Good afternoon. Teens and kids are driving crime in our community. That's what Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen had to say during a news conference on the work the department has been doing to curb crime. News 13's Natalie Wattis has details. Juveniles are drivers of crime in Bernalillo County. The Bernalillo County Sheriff, joined by District Attorney Sam Bregman and other local officials, highlighted the arrest of three teenagers suspected of killing a 16-year-old in May to illustrate that point. The case that we highlight today is to show you how juveniles are drivers of crime, but that it's so many multifaceted crimes and approaches comes from misdemeanors to felonies to street racing to speeding to violent crime all the way up to the tip of the spear, which is homicide. On May 19th, deputies got a call in the Pajarito Mesa southwest of Albuquerque, where 16-year-old Jesus Quintana Cota was found dead from a gunshot. Three suspects, Daniel Medrano Garcia, Mariana Gomez, and Dominic Marquez, were arrested June 27th. They were all juveniles at the time of the murder. This was a, you know, a dispute over um, you know, money and also a possible retaliation for something that occurred previously uh, between these parties. The detective on this case says it was a planned and targeted incident. When it comes to these juveniles, uh, this is another example of the terrible increase in violent crime among juveniles in our community. Unfortunately, it is also a testament to the fact that our juvenile criminal justice system is broken. The district attorney says kids are not held in juvenile detention unless their crime involves a gun, that probation for juveniles is ineffective, and that the children's code hasn't been updated since the 1970s. The 60-day session that starts in January, and I think we really need as a community and a legislature and, and everybody else to come together and, and update that, that children's code. The sheriff says social media plays a big role in illegal street racing and illegal activity and has a message. When you have any type of social media and you're looking at outrunning law enforcement, whether that's BCSO, any law enforcement entity, we're going to come after you. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. The sheriff also highlighted statistics for arrests and citations from their recent operations. We have those numbers on our website. Just go to always on KRQE.com.